Holly's Angel and Sunshine Girl is the last of all. Regal Rebel, the expected pacemaker from the outside. The chalk clears away from Mommy Joe Dreams. Switching into the two path. Indy Symphony is two and a half off the lead from the rail. Almost a length to Polly's Angel. Better than two lengths to Sunshine Girl. 22 and four fifths for Regal Rebel. Pretty sensible pace for her. No excuses midway through the turn. She controls this affair by a length and a half or two to Mommy Joe Dreams and Indy Symphony. Sunshine Girl's trying to pick up her stride. She's into the fourth spot. Long shot, Polly's Angel. Relegated to the rear. Three sixteenths from the line. Regal Rebel, the one to come and catch. Mommy Joe Dreams has been chasing the chalk the entire trip. Sunshine Girl makes a move for third, then Indy Symphony. Regal Rebel, four to five. All aboard. Regal Rebel, gate to wire winner for the 4th of July program. Uh, Hardly working, comes away running in fourth. Magic Pro is fifth, and up for adventure, the favorite is the last of all. Dr. Sir Folio and K. Bercoa making the pace from two-color map. Riley B. from the rail, hardly working to his outside. Magic Pro has five to find, heading into the turn. And up for adventures, nine lengths from the front. 23 and one, the flow's favorable for the top two. Dr. Sir Folio, and to his outside, two-color map. Hardly Working's chasing them. Magic Pro's trying to launch a bit. Riley B stays close to this soft pace. Up for adventure, still at the back. Dr. Sir Folio, the one to beat at the 316s. Riley B comes with his run. Two-color map gives way. It's Dr. Sir Folio with all the pace advantage. K. Burkoa, the king of the clock. Dr. Sir Folio for two in a row. Riley B was second. Hardly working third, and here's up.